hey guys uh, welcome back in this video i want to talk about the best queue format to use okay so let's say you are working in some telecom industry and you want to write a code for some of the algorithms at the receiver or at the, or at the transmitter side now the question is what is the best queue format to use but if you take some of the concepts related to wireless communications or communication then you will see that there are constellation points right that we represent uh, for many uh, data so these constellation points uh, could be you know something like 0.7071 and uh, things like that so if you see the numbers usually it will uh, it will be less than uh, less than or equal to 1 right so and there are many sequences you can say even reference sequences uh, whose magnitude will be uh, you know maximum 1 and in most of the cases the numbers will lie um, within this uh, value 1 so then i would say that uh, uh, the numbers or the data points uh, the or the iq samples would lie within the range of 0 0.9999 okay uh, 2 minus 1 so what is the format to use here q1.0.15 am i right yes this is the best format uh, um, so let us see a couple of more advantages as well related to this and uh, and uh, we can say to a greater extent this is the best format to use okay i, I think you got the first point why you know this would be the best format so the second thing is okay so when you do uh, multiplication of two numbers so we had seen in the uh, earlier videos about the multiplication of two numbers um, we had seen uh, with this multiplication of two numbers with the same queue format and multiplication of numbers with uh, different queue formats all right so as i was telling usually you know the numbers will be let's say of this of this type then definitely we can represent in q15 format when you multiply two q15, q15 format the result or the output will always be in q15 okay but earlier we had seen that uh, I, I had taken you know 1.42 into 1.42 in the previous video and i was seeing that it is um, coming to up to 2.16 something like that so um, here I had, I had taken q14 q14 but the output uh, the output uh, i had to kept uh, uh, in q13 format right because this was going beyond the, the range of q14 and in order to avoid the saturation in order to get the best accuracy i had to keep it in q13 but uh, that will not happen in case of q15 if you can check out the maximum value which is 0 0.999 right and uh, and if you multiply with another maximum number then this will be something like like 98 right this will still fit in this q15 format all right when you multiply to q15 format the output will also be in q15 you don't have to worry about changing the q15 format okay so what about the other one like um, q14 into q15 so whenever you are going to actually you know uh, multiply q14 and q15 format what will be the output so you can retain uh, one of the input q formats like uh, q14 itself all right otherwise you know if you take uh, some different number let's say q14 into let's say q13 then what will be my uh, output so this is the maximum uh, you know you know plus 1.99 this will be maximum plus um this will be maximum plus 3.99 then I, when i multiply th these two i had to keep it in q12 format right but when you are using one of the q formats as q15 then definitely your output uh, can be you know q14 even you can try out you know q15 into q13 uh, you will get i think uh, uh, q13 itself you can store it in q13 so this can happen something like this uh, see as i am telling you know majority in the beginning you can take uh, all the inputs in q q15 format let's say you are multiplying the a and b and uh, this is one block of operations that you are doing then let's say you had kept uh, q15 format itself for some reason let's say there are some additions i have not come to uh, additions till now but let's say there are some operations which perform addition and uh, there is a chance that uh, the there is a bit growth for example so let's say this is this we have to represent in q14 for some reason then in the further block when you want to multiply this sequence let's say c and this d okay then this d you can 
take it q15 and when you are multiplying and uh, when you have taken the c with q14 and when you are doing c into d you can say that the output uh, will be in q14 itself okay whatever is the input to q format the same q format you can retain so this is one advantage uh, that i have seen uh, with respect to q15 format so I, th I think you got the clarity you know why you can go for q15 format as the as the best uh, q format uh, especially you are writing the code for telecom industry so in addition there can be a bit growth but uh, in the upcoming videos i will try to explain uh, you know even how we can avoid the bit growth uh, and and still you can retain in q15 format okay in some cases if we if we had to extend uh, the bit growth uh, then as I explained in this particular example, we can go for one extra Q format and we can try to retain it. And there are cases also like when you are dealing with Q14, right? Um, this number can be uh, further, uh, you know, reduced. Maybe there can be some division operation and uh, and uh, and for which you know the number uh, can again fall under the range of Q15. And during that time, you can again convert back your Q format from Q14 to Q15, right? Most of the in in most of the cases, try to retain uh, your code in Q or 15 format. Mm, that will uh, easy uh, that will ease your uh, um, understanding. That will ease your writing uh, of code, and that will also help help you to understand uh, the things much better. So thank you very much. I hope you got the clarity. If you're looking for more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.